I can remember it like it was yesterday. As a matter of fact, I was sitting right in that seat, right there. And more than anything, what I remember, brothers, is this overwhelming sense of pride. This overwhelming sense of pride. Here I was at freshman orientation at Morehouse College. I was raised in Baltimore City. People told me I'd never even make it out of there. And here I was at freshman orientation at Morehouse College. And I'll never forget the feeling of pride that I had. And my mother's face right up there at the gate when we parted ways. And I remember that day because that was when I made the first decision that I would make here at Morehouse. And I was sitting right there. I was right there. And I said, I'm going to be freshman class president. And I remember about a month later, the campaign started. There were nine of us that ran. And I got in first place the first time around. <laughs> then there was a runoff. I never even heard of a runoff till I got to Morehouse. And I lost. And I was so disappointed. This was the very first goal I set for myself at Morehouse. And I didn't get it. And I see some people looking at me like, man, Daryl, you came all the way here, and the very first thing out of your mouth is about a loss that you had as a freshman. But brothers, as much this morning as I want to come and tell you about my successes, about my victories, about the high points in my life, truthfully, truthfully, it's been my so-called failures. It's been my so-called defeats that have made me who I am today. Brothers, I learned something here at Morehouse that transformed my life. And I promise, if you grasp this thing too, it will transform your life as well. What I learned here at the house that has become my mantra in life and the title of my message this morning is that your breakthrough is in your make do. Your breakthrough is in your make do. Men of Morehouse, good morning. Good morning. I, that don't sound, wait, that ain't the men of Morehouse I know. Men of Morehouse, good morning. Good morning. We're going to try that one more time. We lead us all over the world. Men of Morehouse, good morning. Good morning. That's what I'm talking about. President Franklin, thank you for inviting me to be here. It is an honor. It is an honor. I get to go all over the world to share this message. But brothers, to be home, it ain't nothing like being home. And when I got the call to come here and speak, I thought about it. I prayed about it. I said, what can I say? What can, what can I say that's going to stick with these brothers? And God said, Daryl, go there and talk about what you know. Because I won't be convincing if I tell you about something I just learned about. I won't be convincing if I tell you about something that just came out of a book. I can only tell you what I know from experience. And what I know from experience is that your breakthrough is in your make-do. See, people have this misconception that their breakthrough is going to come about as a result of a bright idea they get on one day. From a person that walks in their life. From one specific event. But your breakthrough is only going to come about as a result of what you're doing every day, all day, constantly, to bring about that breakthrough. Your breakthrough is in your make-do. And so for the next couple of minutes, I want to share with you three lessons that I learned here at the house. And I'm telling you, brothers, it's more important than money. It's more important than degrees. It's more important than credentials. And I'm going to tell you why. Because with an understanding of these principles, You'll get all that and more. I'm a living example. 